So you were a good boy before you started your cycle, you took your blood work, you saw that it was in the normal range with your cholesterol, things like that, let's hope. Then you started a cycle, you did your blood work again, and everything is out of whack and you are freaking out and you are getting anxiety and you feel like you're gonna die, you need some help. What's up guys, Dom here back again from the Lisa Fit and we are here with another one, gonna be health conscious, how to instantly fix your cholesterol in weeks. Let's dive right into it. But guys, like I always say, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Make sure you subscribe. We're gonna get to 10,000 subs. I need to hear all. Please, doesn't cost you any money, just subscribe. So, you were a good boy before you started your cycle, you took your blood work, you saw that it was in the normal range with your cholesterol, things like that, let's hope. Then you started a cycle, you did your blood work again, and everything is out of whack and you are freaking out and you are getting anxiety and you feel like you're gonna die, you need some help. This was me. I did my blood work mid-cycle and before my cycle and I was like, what is going on? Why is it so high? And yes, anabolic steroids skew your cholesterol levels. The HDL goes to the shitter, the LDL skyrockets, and it's just, it's a mess for you and you start getting anxiety and you need to fix it right away. This is where GW501516 come in, AKA carterine. Although not a SARM, and I've talked about this in the past, it is coupled with the SARMs, but what it's going to do is it is going to increase your endurance like crazy, which is great when you're on cycle, especially if you're cutting because you're gonna be able to work out harder, things of that nature. One of the best things it does, and this is why we're talking about in this video, is it decreases the LDL cholesterol, which is that bad cholesterol, and increases your HDL cholesterol, which is the good cholesterol. It does do a bit of gene switching as well. So it takes your fast twitch muscle fibers and makes them into slow twitch muscle fibers. You will see a decrease in strength. You will see less fullness in your muscles because of that genetic switch from the fast twitch muscle fibers to the low twitch muscle fibers. Now, in my personal opinion, you should not be doing this longer than two weeks and you should be doing it at a very low dose. No more. You, you, you can get away with 10 milligrams a day, but no more than 20 milligrams a day. Reason for it, and yes, the study has been overblown, but there was a study in mice to 30 times the amount of recommended dosage and the mice got cancer. Mm. Not to say that you should not be weary of this, 20 milligrams for the most part is a safe dosage, although there is a 72 hour half-life. So if you are taking 20 milligrams, it does you know stack on top of each other and you could put yourself in the danger zone. Maybe stick with the 10 milligrams if you know you wanna be safer. I found 20 milligrams is okay. Don't do it for a prolonged period of time just to instantly fix that cholesterol within weeks, get you back down to regular levels. Because when we are doing this bodybuilding journey, you do want to be careful as well. We've seen a lot of deaths from cardiac arrest, LDL cholesterol, when that is super high, and HDL, when that is super low, that is when we get plaque in our arteries and in our heart, and we don't want that. So remember, please be weary with all these things. Pharmacology in general, you do have to be careful, but again, for an instant fix in cholesterol, let's say two weeks, it could be worth it to you. But that's it for today, guys. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Until next time, I am out of here. Ciao.